Right, today's video is brought to you by another dumpster dive. And this one I have here is a Ryobi 48 volts coatless lawnmower. And this is a self propel lawnmower. This one here is actually given away by somebody who does not have a lawn anymore. You see, I live in California and it does not rain here anymore. It has not rained for the last I don't know, forever, 10 years. So people um, start installing artificial turf instead. So they don't have to cut the lawn anymore. So they start giving away their lawnmower for free. Because there's no use. Show you another cordless lawnmower that I just got from someone else. It's a black and darker 24 volt cordless lawnmower. And, uh, this is going to be next on my teardown list. And that is the reason why I've been getting these lawnmower for free. Because it does not rain here anymore. And it is a crime to water your lawn here. Well, actually, I just made that up, but maybe someday it will be a crime to water your lawn. And, um, like me, Water level is low, it's the lowest in history. And eventually, like me, is just gonna be me. And who are them? It's just gonna be a great war of Nevada. And that means mass migration and the end of civilization as we know it. That sounds scary. I just hope that we're not going to get there. Anyway, uh, I digress. So it's time to tear down this uh, 48 volt cordless lawnmower. This one is interesting because it is a self propelled lawnmower. So the wheel actually turns and uh, the wheel is actually powered by the battery. So actually, if you can make some sort of steering on the front, this is going to become a go-kart, electric go-kart, that is. Now let me show you the battery packs. This is the cover. Inside there's some charging board. When you plug in the charger, just the batteries. And inside there are only two. Let us it varies. Pretty strange because this is a 48 volt pack and I expected to see a 4 cell battery pack but there's only 2 cells. And let's see what we got here. See that? 25.9 volt each pack which is pretty strange I have never seen anything like this before so there are two packs two packs each pack is a 24 volt lead acid battery Pretty strange. Let me remove the packs out of this case and show you what's inside. Right, so here are the battery packs. They are 24 volt, 10 amp hour battery pack. So there are two packs. So usually, lead acid battery only comes in 12 volt pack. This is 24 volt pack, which is pretty unusual. You can see it's got two uh, plastic covers on the top. So each cover will have six small cells on it. And then usually each 12 volt battery pack only has six cells. 
this one got 12 cells. Each cell is 2 volts, right? So 12 cells max 24 volts, which is, which is pretty unusual. And let's see what we got here. This one is 25.9 volts. This one is about 23.3 volts. This one is a little bit discharged, but this one is good. So I think this one is also good. It's, also, it's, it's only discharged. So all I got to do is just charge it up and I got two 24 volt lead acid battery packs for free. Pretty good deal, huh? Now let me show you what's inside this machine. 48 volt DC plus motor. There's a giant ceramic resistor. And it is a 50 watt resistor. It's humongous. And there's even a heat sink on this side. And there is the switch over here. And that is pretty much it. And here is the bottom end of the lawnmower. And uh, being a self propelled mower. There must be a motor right here to run the uh, the wheel on the back here. This box here, I'm not sure if it's a gearbox or the motor. And uh, I'm gonna open up and check it out next. But uh, first, I am gonna remove the main motor. And I believe there are a couple of sc uh, screws here or bolts on the bottom here that I have to remove. Then I'll show you the motor. All right, let me show you what's underneath here. Um, there's a plastic cover over here, like so. And then in order to remove that, you got to remove the blades. There's only single bolt on here. Remove this uh, nuts, I mean. And then remove the blades. And then just remove a couple of screws. There are two screws here, one here and one here. And then you get this out. Now you can see a belt. So this belt go from here toward the back to turn the um, the two wheels on the back. And this motor runs both the the blades. So then you spin the blade spin, and also you will turn this belt at the same time. So this single motor can run the wheels and the blades at the same time. Alright, so let me show you the drive train of this lawnmower. So the belt go toward the back here and then see that? And we'll spin this part on the top and that will in turn Turn this differential. There's a differential here. So this this box here will turn both wheels at the same time. And here is the inside of the wheel. The inside of the wheel, you can see the gear. That's a very nice metal gear right there. And that will turn then we'll turn the, the wheel. See on the out, outer ring of the wheel, we got gear that's connected to that metal gear from the differential from the axle right here. Right, that's the inside of the wheel. Unfortunately, uh, now, this ring here is plastic. It's very, let me see how soft it's quite. It's not that soft. It's hard plastic, but it's still plastic. So, I'm not sure how durable that is. But for a lawnmower, it should be fine. It will last for a long time. Plus, it's run at a slow speed. So, it doesn't really matter much. 
All right, let me show you how this works here. There's a switch, an on off switch to run the motor, like so. And this wheel does not turn until you engage another, uh, another gear, which is way up in here. And it's connected via this cable here. So when you pull this cable, when you pull this cable, this gear in here is gonna be engaged and then it will turn uh, the wheel. So um, it's quite hard to pull this cable. So I'm just gonna reach in here and then uh, engage the, uh, the gear that way. So let me demonstrate. Go my switch here. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the switch. And then uh, I'm going to engage the gear. So the wheel is not running now. See? Now I engage the gear, it will run the wheel like that. When I disengage, it will stop the wheel, but the, the motor is still running. There you go. All right, let me show you the aftermath of this uh, teardown. I've got two 24 volt lead acid battery packs. Very unusual 24 volt battery packs. And I have a, oh, and these batteries are still good. So I can use them for a uh, solar project. And I also have a very powerful 48 volt DC brush motor and a belt drive train system which I think I'm gonna just keep it as it is so I can modify this and turn this into a go-kart so my plan is to uh, replace this pulley put in a bigger pulley because right now the wheel uh, runs really slowly I mean it's designed for lawnmower so it runs slow so I have to put in a bigger pulley so I can make this wheel spin faster and also uh, the two front wheels now are fixed so I have to modify the two front wheel and introduce a steering system so I can turn left or right and that's pretty much it I'm going to get myself a lawnmower go-kart and uh, that is pretty much it uh, for this uh, teardown and uh, I will see you next time.